Hello everyone, welcome to another review by The Virgin Prime and here we go again, another freaking new age legend scale Dinobot. This time I'm going to be checking out the 56EX Jungle Warrior Redosaurus, which is um, their version of a toy version sludge. And here we go again, man. I am buying the toy versions and of course I ordered it from that one same place and the box is all munched up. I won't say who they are to ruin their rep. But the box is not as important as what's inside. So let's do this once more, shall we? We got the instructions. Yada, yada, yada. That's cool. Oh, there we go. So the EX ones are cool because they come with a sword. Just like the, the swoop one that I just reviewed. Go check out that video if you get a chance. So we got a sword. And we got a gun. Toy looking gun. I believe it looks different. And the usual open hand, closed fist hand. So we got that. And then we have the leggings for Grimlock that cover the kibble and stuff. I don't have that Grimlock yet. That one's going to be harder to get because he's older, but maybe they'll reissue it or I'll just pay an overpriced price to get him because that's what we do. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so let's check him out. Nice. Yeah, the paint is like so freaking... Excellent. What? You put the QC pass right on his dome piece. Jerks, huh? It's like you don't want to get sticky shit on his head. Not too bad. So yeah, check out his headpiece. It looks nice. It's got some blue in there. Um, oh, you can do yellow. So you can do blue. Or you can do a yellow. Let's do that right now, yes? There we go. Yellow. What do you guys think? A little bit more vibrant, right? I don't mind the yellow. So, dude, the paint job is just exquisite. The metallic sheen to it, fingerprint magnet. Um, dude, man, he just looks so cool. Look at that. Rawr. Looks nice. So real quick, let's check out articulation. So just like the other one, full rotation. He's got a lot of mobility in the neck. Not like the, the magic square one. Look at that. He's legit up, down, all around, twist him around. Head can go up, head can go down. Of course, the jaw I already showed you can open up that much. Legs can go all the way around, not that you need to. They can open up, they're a lot more stable than Magic Square ones. They got a ankle tilt, I guess you can say, and they have a, no, that's pretty much it. And then this one, same thing, you can go all the way around. You can open it up, kick out. You can uh, bend the nails as well up and down don't really need to and he's got a tilt on this ankle as well and it, you can tilt it inwards as well too not that you need to the only other pose is if you're gonna do that I'm laying on my belly because I'm lazy going going nap nap time night nights and then the tail little extra wiggle here you got three three points of wiggle here so that's pretty cool and uh, did I mention the paint is amazing? Yes. So real quick, we'll compare them to the other legend scale. This is the magic square one. And like I tell you, this one is more closer to size than per se like the Grimlock. The magic square Grimlock is way bigger. But this guy's still a little bulkier, but you see there's, the neck does not move whatsoever, only the head. So this has a lot more movement. The tail does not move on this at all. 
So if the other one has more movement and the legs suck on this guy. They open up. They're way too flimsy. So choose what you want, man. These are a little more pricier, I believe, but the quality is definitely there. Um, let's check out the chug scale. <laughs> Unfortunately, the chug scale is huge, man. This is the 86 Studio Series, which is the best ones that they can has broken offer at the time. Um, huge. But it's still good buy. This one is just... It's freaking dope. I really like it, man. I think I'm gonna keep using their Dinobot look. I just think they look nice. So, all right, let me get them transformed and we'll be right back. All right, so here he is transformed. I already put the hands on. And dude. Awesome. The paint is bomb.com. I can't say enough about the paint this mug mug shot looks good no yeah so we can put his sword right there looking cute and then he's got a gun which you can put right here dude he's this total badass sludge. <clears throat> yeah, man, I can't say no good things about these. I'm all in. So let's check out articulation. He's on a ball peg like all of them are on the head. So he can do the full exorcist. He's just a little stiff. Um, the wings stick. They clip on right here, so they can stay stable. So you can you can rotate the hand all the way around. Just gotta maneuver it so it doesn't hit that he can flare it out he's got a uh, bicep swivel obviously the the hand can swivel all the way around because it's just pegged on there you can bend it doesn't get you oh there you go never mind he's got a double joint so it gets you well past 90 they say and then uh he can rotate all the way around even with all the kibli stuff it just doesn't get in the way. He does have an ab crunch like nobody's business. Best ab crunch in town. Um, let's see. He can kick all the way up, no problem. He can bend all the way back, no problem. He can kick back. He can do the splits. It's just ultimately flex flexible. Um, he's got a ankle rocker of some sort. It's really just this part. So I don't know if it really counts. It's token wiggle around. And he's got a, I guess, hip rotation or a thigh rotation, whatever. He's very flexible. He can pretty much He's gonna be fine. He can hit all the poses. He just looks freaking amazing, man. I am can't say enough good things about him. So real quick, here's a comparison with Master P oh, Master P scale. So I broke this part, I need to screw it back on. I guess it's not really broken, but it's annoying. I just haven't gotten to it. Come on, man. Why you gotta do me like that? Anyway, big size. Out of the way, and then we got Chug Scale Optimus. Uh, then we got another New Age Legends, so that's good size right there. And of course, we're going to compare it with the tune version of the same pick, so you can check it out. As you can see, they both have. They're perks, man. I mean, the head sculpts are different, if you can see those. This one's, they're just slightly different. But they are both really cool. You can see the chest piece is 
differently detailed than this one. This is more plain. Um, all the little temple decals that are on there, those are just badass. Uh, the gun is totally different, but this guy has a sword. Um, they, they look nice. Yep. Awesomeness. So, yeah. I'm going to be getting all the EX ones and finishing up the Tune ones pretty soon. So, I give these a thumbs up. I can't, I don't know what's better than these right now. I mean, eventually I'll get some masterpiece, either the Giga or the Fans, but those are really hard to get. So, I guess I'll just settle for these for now. But I'm a happy camper with these, so. Yeah, highly recommend two thumbs up and I'll catch you all in the next one. Virgins out.